Hi everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to the Heffy Doodle YouTube channel. Today I have a fun little window card to share with you with a surprise on the inside, which is the other side of the window. And I'm going to also share with you some of my current favorite tools and a hack or two as well today, which I hope you find useful. So I'm going to use the O Crumbs set, which is the really adorable little corgi scene and the little tea set um, pieces as well. And I'm going to stamp those out using my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And this is a great set. You really feel like you're getting value for money with this set because you can stamp out and use all of the images mostly um, to create fantastic little scenes. And there's the two corgis, the front piece and the back that join together perfectly. Um, to use uh, as I have done today or on the top of bookmarks and things like that. So I'm stamping out the stamps now in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because I'm going to colour them in with Copics. And I decided on a square card so I could fit a few more of my images on the front. So here I'm just laying them out to see where I kind of wanted them to go. And I've used my a framelit die to cut the window. I've used heavy memo tape to mask off the bottom of my card and I'm using the unbelievable stencil to create a wallpaper look for what's going to be the inside of the house. Now these are some brushes that I found at my local Kmart here in Australia. They're actually cosmetic brushes, but they're very similar to the life-saving um, is it life saving brushes I think they're called and they're fabulous. I used crushed olive over this stencil and they were so great to use with the stencil. I'm a real brush convert. This is the first time I've used them and he just bought them the other day. Um, and they're so easy to clean off. I've used a baby wipe here and I've, that container there is actually a Heinz Trapper Snack, which I use to keep my baby wipes in and they stay a little bit wet for longer. So I'm just cleaning off my brush with a baby wipe and then I'm going to dry it off on some paper towel. But I think you can really just rub on a paper towel and get most of the ink off until you see it clear and then you know the brush is clean. So it doesn't really build up a lot of ink um, in the brush, it's really handy. So I have another one of those Trapper Snack containers for my chamois as well to clean off my stamps. So I've just masked off the bottom now and I'm going to use the pumice stone and see how I'm picking up the ink off my, um, my glass mat there. So you can use utilise a lot more of your ink. Now I've cut the window die and I'm just going to use my scalpel to cut out inside for the window panes and I have it here that uh, here adhered that onto the front of my card first and now I'm going to go onto the inside of the card and create what will be the outside of the house I guess and I'm again using my um, cosmetic brush there to put the ink through the stencil and now I'm just putting a piece of acetate to create a window pane sort of look on the other side of the window so just adhering that down, I've used craft card there for the outside of the house. And I have coloured and cut out all my little dogs and the tea set. And I also used a post box from the Yappy Happy Mail set for the inside of the card for that little dog to be standing on to peek through the window at the other corgis. I did end up putting another crown on that dog in the window and I also stamped out a couple of sentiments um, from the set and embossed them in white on black card and then I adhered them onto the card. So there's a little corgi on top of the post box and very cute. And I also adhered that second sentiment on the inside. So I hope you enjoyed the card. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you again next time.